video, I'm going to show you that how we can automate the process of cross site scripting finding for bug bounties. So let's get started. Uh, before that, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can find cross site scripting with bug suit using multiple ways, then I recommend you to please check that out. And now let's start for this video. So the tools that we are going to need uh, in this video is GAU, get all URLs and KXSS. So let's download this tool and see how we can get started. So we can just type here GAU and after that you have to type GitHub and you have to click on the first link and you have to copy this link and in your Linux terminal you have to paste your link with the following command so git clone and you have to paste the link over here simple and you have to hit enter and after that you have to download one more tool let me show you what it is and the tool name is kxss and after that we have to clone this tool as well so git clone let me copy this again okay nice so as you can see both of the tools are downloaded and now we have to install these tools into our machine so first of all let us try to install GAU so I'm just going to change the directory to GAU and here we need to move to the CMD folder and do GAU and here is the main file that we need to compile so to compile this file what we need to do is we need to use go language so if you haven't installed go language in your uh, linux distribution then i recommend you to please install it by typing the following command apt install golang the command can be different if you are using some other linux distribution like uh, fedora or something but if you are using kali linux then you are fine with it okay so you have to hit enter and as you can see the GA golang is already installed in the uh, the newest version right so i don't need to do anything and after installation we just need to type go build and main.go and we have to hit enter it will take some time depending on your internet speed okay as you can see the tool is installed now and what we need to do is we need to move this uh, main.g main main file this main file over here and we have to move this to bin something like this and we can type something like this over here. let's say get all url and we have to hit enter after that we need to go all the way back to our home directory and here we need to move to kxss and now let's try to install kxss on our machine so i'm just going to type the same command go build main.go wait for a few seconds and the tool is compiled successfully and now we have to move this file as well so i'm just going to type move main to bin and we are just going to name this xss now that we have both the tools installed in our machine now let's see how we can automate the process of cross site scripting finding so let's get started so here's a command that you need to uh, use in order to hunt for xss or automate the xss process so the first command is echo and after that you have to type your domain name in which you are testing for example i can type something like uh, let's say testphp.wellweb.com okay after that we have to specify a pipe and here we need to type get all url and again specify a pipe and here you have to type xss and now let us see what this command will do in the background so this echo testphp.vulnweb.com will return this string this particular string and it will pass it to get all url after that get all url is going to crawl all the urls related to that domain and it is going to pass that domain value pass that urls to xss uh, 
uh, XSS script, right? The KXSS script, and the KXSS script is going to test for each parameters for dangerous characters, whether the dangerous character are ref reflecting as it is in the response body. If the dangerous characters are reflecting as it is, then there's a high possibility that 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 particular application is vulnerable to process scripting, right? So let me hit enter and let's see what happens after that. Now let's wait for a few seconds. Now let me close this. And as you can see, we got some uh, different URLs having these parameters unfiltered. As you can see here, we have this cat parameter. This parameter is unfiltered, which means that if you supply these characters like double quotes, single quotes, less than, greater than, then there's a possibility that it is going to reflect as it is. So there's a, again, there's a possibility that these parameters uh, is vulnerable to cross site scripting. Again, we have this parameter over as well, the question P param, which is rendering these character as it is. So these all are the dangerous characters that are required to construct an XSS payload. So let me show you how we can execute cross site scripting. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to open it in the browser. Let's say over here. And here I'm going to paste this. After that, as you can see, the response is completely blank. And now let's try to specify a JavaScript payload over here. So I'm going to write IMG source equals to X on error alert one. And let's see whether we'll get an alert pop up or not. And perfect. As you can see, we were successfully able to identify cross site scripting vulnerability by this automation process, right? So this process can be very useful when you have a large set of domains and you want to look for vulnerabilities in that in the whole list, right? So in the manual testing, you have to test each and every URL in each and every domain. So that is going to take a lot of time. So instead of that, you can just automate your process similar to like uh, similar to this, right? So I hope you understand that how we can identify or how we can automate the process of cross site scripting. If you have any doubts, if you have any uh, issues, then please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.